So there are a handful of data points that you want to have your eye on if you're considering investing in a certain area. And so today we're going to look at one of those critical data points in terms of our market in Florence, South Carolina. And then the plan is to build a playlist and we're going to look at each one one by one down the line. So my name is Sammy Fryer, licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina. All of my contact information is down in the description of this video. If you need to contact me to discuss any of these things further, if you want to look into investing, buying or selling in our local market in the Florence area, in the PD area. And so with that being said, let's dive right into this and waste no time. The first critical point of data that you're going to want to have your eye on if you're looking to invest in a particular market in a particular city is an obvious one. It's population growth. And so you're going to see me looking over. I've got my computer here in front of me, but I'm going to pull all these screens up that I'm looking at on the screen so that you can see them as well. And so this is really simple. You can go to Google and type in population, space, city, and state. And obviously in our case, we're looking at Florence, South Carolina. And I want you to take a look at this chart. So as you can see in 2021, we're at right under 40,000 39,958 people. And right now, for the sake of this video, we're just gonna look at city. We're not looking at the county, but you could pull that up and look at those numbers as well. But what you're looking for is the growth over a period of time. So is that market continually growing or is it decreasing? And it's said that a good benchmark in mid-sized cities, which Florence would be a smaller city, but would be 20%, about 20% over a two decade period. And so if you look at Florence, from 2001 to 2021, we have a 23.5% increase in population. It's steadily inclined with a large spike in 2009, as you can see looking at the graph. But the bottom line is that the population of Florence is steadily increasing. Now, another place to look at this data is at citydata.com and also see this population increase. You can see the numbers there from 2000 to 2021. They have it as a 32.1% increase, which is huge. But it's safe to say that we have around a 25% increase in population over the last two decades, going back from counting from 2021 backwards, which is a really good number especially when you consider looking at the median resident age, 39.8 years, around 40 years old, but that number is slightly lower than the state median age. And this is really good because you have 40 year olds. So you have young professionals that are creating business that are working in the economy, buying and selling and investing. So that's a really good number, especially considering that it is slightly lower than the state median. So the bottom line is that when you're looking around the country of where you want to invest, you want to invest where there's growth and you don't want to invest where there's just a little bit of growth. You want to see exponential or large growth. 25% over a two decade span is pretty good. And the question isn't necessarily what does the rearview mirror look like, but if I'm going to invest my money in the market in Florence, South Carolina, can I expect it to perform well moving forward? That's really the question is what does the future look like? Now, none of us can say we can honestly predict exactly what the future is going to look like, but we can look at what's going on around us and use the data, which is what we're doing is looking at the data, not feelings and emotions, and trying to determine, well, how does this all fit together and what looks to be safe? And so here's some of the facts that we know. We know that AESC has doubled their initial investment to $1.6 plus billion dollars for the battery plant that they're bringing that's going to bring 1,600 plus jobs. And so I'll put a link down in the description from governor.sc.gov that will just kind of outline everything that's going on with that project. And so we also know that there's around 15 new housing developments currently underway right now in 2024. I'll put some information down in the description for those as well so you can look into those projects. And we also know about the multiple apartment projects that are being developed as well. And again, I'll put information down in the description so you can follow up on some of those details. And so there's a good bit of residential development happening in our area to accompany that commercial development that's happening. And this all lends itself for us to see that line to continue to go up in terms of the population growth of Florence to continue to increase. Now, as we get into this playlist, I want to release some data to you guys showing that there are multiple companies and sites in terms of real estate investing around the country that have Florence rated very highly on their list. And so if you want to stay up to date with this information and the content that we're releasing, then you need to subscribe to the channel. Of course, hit the notification so that you can know whenever we release a new video. But as far as population growth goes, this is something that you can look at over, you know, a, a two decade period is a good sample size to look at, especially in our case here, we see this 25% growth with no expectation for that to decline in the near future. And there are certainly a lot of people, especially over the last decade or so, that are seeing a lot of benefit already in terms of the investments they've made into our local economy, into this market. So we're gonna end this one here. So again, if you wanna stay informed about what these data points are, 
why they matter and what the specific data is saying in relation to Florence, South Carolina, then subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified when those future videos drop. If you like this video, then please do give it a like down in the bottom because that helps us out a lot to continue to provide this information for you. And so again, my name is Sammy Fryer, licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina. My contact information is down in the description of the video. You can reach out to me today. I would love to work with you and any buying or selling that you may be looking to do in our area or just answer any questions that you may have if I can answer them. And if I can't, then I know where to find the answers. And so I hope that you found this content helpful and I hope you found it encouraging if you're already invested in the Florence market. I think there's a lot of things for us to be encouraged about considering what's gone on over the last couple of decades, particularly the last 10 years and the projection of what we see moving forward. And so I look forward to hearing from y'all. And in the meantime, y'all take care and we'll see you soon.